This is my first lecture, an uh, introduction into the Bluetooth technology. Uh, first of all, uh, I discuss about the Bluetooth introduction. A uh, Bluetooth is a wireless technology uh, is an often specification for the low cost, low power, short range uh, radio technology for the wireless communication of device and data anywhere in the world. Uh, these two pictures uh, are shown here is one of the first module of the Ericsson and the second one uh, as a um, uh, recent modules uh, used in uh, many laptops uh, is also a Bluetooth module. Now I'll come to the history of the uh, Bluetooth technology. The name Bluetooth come from the 10th century uh, and secondly it was initially developed by the Swedish mobile phone makers Ericsson in 1994 the Pluto standard are published by a group known as a Bluetooth SIG special uh, interest group initially there are five companies in SIG but we currently more than 3,000 companies are registered uh, this is a, a nutshell diagrams of the Bluetooth technology uh, initially there are the Five, uh, four or five companies, then it grows up to a 3000 plus companies. Now I come to the Bluetooth technology. A Bluetooth is designed to operate in an environment of the many user. Up to an eight devices can communicate in a small network called a PicoNet. Uh, the concept behind the Bluetooth is to provide a, a universal short range wireless capabilities. Uh, using a 2.4 gigahertz band, two Bluetooth devices within 10 meters of each other can share up to a 720 kilobytes per second of data rate. Uh, Bluetooth is uh, intended to support an open-ended list of uh, applications including data, uh, audio graphics and even videos. Uh, has in a little bit difference about the Bluetooth and the infrared technology. Bluetooth is a point, a point to multi point devices, and uh, the drawback of infrared uh, is a point to uh, point to point device. It is, and the second is a uh, data and uh, Bluetooth is communicate the data and device instead of uh, uh, infrared. It only communicate uh, the data communication. Uh, in Bluetooth, easy synchronization due to an omnidirection and there's a no line of sight. The one uh, basic uh, drawback of the infrared is a line, it communicates in a line of sight communication. Devices can be mobile in Bluetooth, uh, but uh, in infrared, both devices must be the stationary. The one good point about the Bluetooth is that range is uh, 10 meters and uh, an infrared is uh, 1 meter or 1.5 meter only. Now I come to the Bluetooth technology, the technical feature. The spectrum is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, ISM open band. The modulation technique is a GFSK, Gaussian frequency shift key. Transmission power is about of 1 meter milliwatt to 100 milliwatt and its data rate is 1 megabits per second. Uh, its range is 30 feet and a supported station is on 8 devices. The data security is uh, about a 128 bits keys and module size is 9 cross 9 millimeters. Uh, now about the uh, different uh, gross rates uh, of uh, the version of the Bluetooth. Uh, the first version is a version of 1.2 which is a 1 megabit per second uh, data rate. Uh, then there is a version 2 plus EDR comes is, uh, it is uh, 3 megabits per second data rate. Then uh, version 3 per plus high speed uh, is a 24 megabit per second. Then the last version is a version 4 is uh, greater than 24 megabits per second data rate. And uh, then come to the classes uh, in a milliwatt uh, 
about uh, it tells about the power ranges uh, the class 1 is a uh, 10 milliwatt power and the range about um, near about uh, 100 meters the class 2 is a uh, 10 meter range and the class 3 is a uh, 1 meter uh, now I come to the Bluetooth ne uh, network topologies. The one of the basic topologies of the Bluetooth is a big one at the maximum of eight devices, seven active slaves, plus one master form a form a peak on it. A peak on it is a uh, characterized by a master frequency hopping scheme, assess course, timing synchronization, bit rate allocated uh, to each slave. Uh, in Piconet, uh, only one master dynamically selected role can be switched to uh, up to seven active slaves, no central network structure about the, uh, like an ad hoc network is one of the uh, good points about the Bluetooth um, that uh, any slave can make a master at any time. Uh, uh, then there is an, another uh, uh, technology uh, topology used uh, in uh, Bluetooth is a scatternet. Uh, scatternet is an interconnected piconet, one master per piconet. A device is one piconet may also exist as a part of another piconet and may function as either a slave or master. This form of uh, overlapping is called a scatternet. As in, uh, too many piconets um, are interconnected with each other, but uh, in each piconet there is uh, only one master. The uh, Bluetooth application. The basic Bluetooth applications are the three. There are the three basic Bluetooth applications. The one is on uh, voice uh, and data access points. The second is a uh, cable replacement, and the third one is an ad hoc network. The data and a voice access point is provide a real-time wireless connectivity of the portable and stationary communication devices the second the cable replacement uh, cable can easily eliminate connection are uh, instant uh, maintained when there is no line of sight uh, ad hoc networking establish uh, establishment uh, instant connection with other uh, Bluetooth devices as soon as in a radio range. Uh, this is uh, all about the Bluetooth basics. I hope you understand it. Thank you. Uh, so guys, it was Mr. Sohail, Mr. Abkamian, and uh, it was his first lecture. Hope you have enjoyed it. And so we'll have more videos from him. Bye-bye.